Hi everyone, or good morning I should say. Welcome to my channel, I hope you guys are doing amazing. So I woke up not too long ago, um, I'm still in my PJs, and I'm just getting ready for the day, and I really wanted to do um, a first impression on a product that I bought a couple of days ago, and that's my Astralis Powder Cream 3-in-1 Foundation. So as you guys can see, it says foundation, concealer, and powder in one, and it has an SPF of 15 as well, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I have never tried this product. I didn't even know Astralis made this product. Um, I've only swatched it um, on the back of my hand. And then this is what the product looks like inside. So it has a product here and then it comes with a sponge. It has a nice big mirror. Okay, so I've just Googled this product um, and now it is available at Priceline. Um, I know that for sure. Priceline is a pharmacy, I think, all across Australia. Um, and now I paid half price for it because there was a 50% off sale. Um, so I I think this retails for about $16. I will 100% make sure and I'll pop it down in the description box below. It's still quite affordable, which is great. I love affordable products. And so I've just got a little bit of information about the product here. So I'll just read that to you guys. It says, 3-in-1 cream to powder treatment foundation concealer powder with moisture protective qualities. Okay, and it also says here, a light to full coverage foundation powder that brightens and illuminates the skin for an effortless radiant complexion, corrects environmentally damaged and pigmented skin, creating airbrush perfection without the need for unnatural coverage. Cool. And I'm really glad on the website that it has the directions here because there's no uh, directions um, on the product, um, like on the packaging. So the directions say, prime face, then apply all over face, blending with a sponge or foundation brush. And then the next step is finish with fresh and flawless pressed powder, which is the Australis powder, to ensure the longest lasting finish and a super matte complexion. I'm really excited guys. So as I said, I have never used this product in my life, nor have I even heard of it. And I don't know, nor have I seen anyone use this product before. So I'm really, really excited. I'm wondering if it's gonna be kind of similar to Mac Studio Tech, um, if anyone's used that before. So yeah, I cannot wait to get my base on. So basically, what I'm gonna do is, as I showed you guys before, the product does come with a sponge. So I'm gonna apply the product to half of my face using the sponge that it comes with. And then for the other side of the face, I'm gonna apply it with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, which is also available at Priceline as well. And I also happen to own an Astralis Primer. This is the Astralis Primer Blemish Buster, which looks like this. And it does say to prime before, and the directions on this primer is to apply it with your fingers, so I'm just gonna sterilize my hands before I put any product to the skin. I don't think there is anything wrong with applying products to your skin as long as you have thoroughly sanitized hands. So now I'm going in with my primer. I'm just gonna use a little pea size amount. I used this for the first time yesterday and I really, really liked it and I'm such a primer fan. So I'm just gonna pop this all over the skin. And the directions of this particular primer, it says to wait until it dries before you go in with your foundation on top. So that's exactly what I want to do. Okay, so I'm just waiting for that primer to dry. There is something so satisfying and just so cozy about getting ready still in your PJs. My mum actually got me this dressing gown for my birthday and it's got the cutest like capped sleeves. Does anybody else love glamming in their PJs or in their dressing gowns? Almost dry, I'd say. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just going to smell. Oh, I just got some of that on my nose. <laughs> it doesn't really have a scent, um, which is always nice. Oh, and I should probably point out that I got the shade Tan. It says Tan 41003. You guys can see it's a very nice tanned colour. The tan has um, dissolved a little bit on my face, but I'm not sure if you guys can see. Um, I do have a darker spray tan on the whole of my body. I'm really, really excited to see um, how this wears. Now, something I will point out is when I was reading the instructions um, or the directions of how to use this product, it does say after you apply this to then go ahead and set your face with powder. Although this does say it's a three-in-one product, concealer, foundation, and powder. However, I would never, ever not set the skin anyway. Even if I use all matte foundations, I will still go in and set the skin. Um, and I think it's really important to remember that very thoroughly setting the skin is going to ensure the best possible longevity out of your makeup. So it's always something to remember. So even though it says three in one foundation, concealer and powder, I will still always go in and powder. Okay, my primer feels nice and dry now. God, I'm so nervous. Oh my God, get over yourself, Em. Okay, going in with the sponge. I don't know whether to press this or like swipe it. I think I'm just going to press. Oh, that looks amazing. Definitely good coverage. T 
definitely quick. Um, if you're someone that wears makeup to work every day, I think this would be amazing. Whoa. One thing that I'm noticing is a little bit of it goes a really long way, um, which is really good. You know, a lot of the time I find with full coverage products, for instance, like a liquid foundation, I feel like I end up doing like 16 pumps um, on the back of my hand to get a really nice full coverage foundation. It's just such a waste, especially when makeup is so bloody expensive. Oh my god, this is incredible, you guys. My skin looks so flawless. It definitely doesn't look cakey. Yeah, and the coverage is beautiful. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. I've got a little spot there, and I also have one in my hairline. That covers so beautifully, and it's like a perfect match for my tan. Oh my god, this is insane, you guys. Like, I'm actually freaking out. Holy crap. So that is one side of my face applied with the application sponge. Which, you know what, like, I don't want to admit, but I am a little bit of, like, a prude. Is that the right word? Um, when it comes to sponges, like, I just live and breathe my beauty blenders um, and my Real Technique sponge. Like, I did not have high expectations about this sponge, but in fact, it is actually amazing. Okay, so before I go in on the other side of the face using my Real Technique sponge, this gives you guys a really good idea of what the product looks like. It looks a bit funny because I'm so pale on this side, but... I mean, I'm not even being dramatic, but like, this is like wedding day foundation. Like, oh, I can't. That is incredible. And it feels really, really lightweight on the skin as well. I mean, when I do liquid foundation, as I was saying before, I literally do like 16 pumps, so, so that's nothing on me, but oh my god. And like, the skin genuinely looks like natural. Like, the skin definitely still looks like skin. Just with the side of perfect. <laughs> All right, let's go in now with my sponge. Now I have, let me get some more paper towel. So I washed my sponge this morning. I never ever ever use dirty sponges on my face. And I've wrung it out and I wrung it out um, in my tea towel, but I just want to use some paper towel to really absorb any excess moisture. Because this sponge is dry, so I just want to apply it with a dry sponge. It's probably as dry as I can get it. Okay, I'm wondering if I use this bit or if I use the flat side. I might use the flat side. Um, this is applying nicely. It's definitely a lot easier to apply because this is so big whereas that sponge is quite small. So even quicker. However, I actually wonder if I prefer the other sponge that it came with. Let me finish off the rest of my face and I'll let you guys know. You know what? I actually thought at the start I preferred using the application sponge that it came with. This little one here. But I actually genuinely think they're both the same. My only thing is, is I will never, ever, ever use a dirty sponge on my face. Like every day when I use my beauty blender before I do my makeup, I wash it just before. So it's very, very thoroughly clean. You know, I get acne and I'm also a bit of a germaphobe. So I enjoy cleaning. So I wonder if this would wash up easily. I feel like it would. I wonder what I'm going to keep on using. You guys, like, I mean, I do not think I have a negative thing to say about this product. Um, as I said, I am filming this in the morning and I'm going to update you guys throughout the day how it sits on the skin. I have a little bit of editing um, and work stuff to do in my office and then I've got to run a couple of errands in town um, and it definitely looks like it's going to rain in town today. So we shall see. I cannot lie to you guys when I say this is literally a foundation I would wear on my wedding day and this is the very first time I've ever used it. Like I can say I am thoroughly impressed. I thought it would be very dry, very, very patchy, and it is not at all. I mean, if you have to get up early every day to put your makeup on before work, this is a game changer. You could literally have a full face of base on in probably 60 seconds and it looks flawless. Like, I mean, I don't even need to keep harping on because you guys can see for yourself. That is just incredible. 
The only thing I will say, and it's not really anything even bad about the product, but I would go in with a separate concealer for underneath my eyes. I even bought like my blemish concealer that I use um, to put on my pimples and I definitely, definitely do not need it. So it doesn't lie when it says it's a concealer. However, this is obviously a tan color and I like going in um, with a little bit of a lighter shade of concealer just to really brighten up underneath my eyes. Pimple concealer, I don't need you. You're fired. Like I need a moment of silence. This is just, oh my God. I am so thoroughly impressed, you guys. Oh my God, this is just so exciting. All I'm gonna do now is just really quickly um, pop a tiny bit of concealer underneath my eyes. Unfortunately, I don't own um, an Astralis concealer. So this is just my personal concealer. This is just a NARS one that I have in my makeup bag. And I'm just gonna put a touch just right in here. Just a little bit underneath my eye. I mean, the concealer blends beautifully over the top of this product. I definitely thought that this product would set very, very like matte and chalky and dry, but that is literally not the case at all. So now I'm going to really quickly set the skin, just taking a brush. I'm going in with my Astralis Fresh and Flawless Face Powder in Deep Natural. It's going to pop that a touch underneath my eyes. And now I'm going to go in with Medium Tan, which is just slightly deeper. Just going to start popping this powder through the center. Okay, so I'm just popping this all over the skin. I would probably recommend to use like a big traditional powder brush. I only have a little one because this is just what's in my makeup bag. But I don't care. But I am going to set all over the skin. That is amazing. The way that powder is sitting um, on top of this product, it's not clinging to it. It's not gone patchy. It's definitely not cakey. It's just beautiful. All right, you guys, so that is my base done. I'm going to quickly, just off camera, pop on a tiny bit of makeup. I'm just probably going to do a tiny bit of bronzer, blush, um, and just some mascara um, because I can't bear to just have foundation on. I feel like I look really strange, so I'll be back in a sec. All right, you guys, I'm back. I just chucked on the tiniest bit of makeup. I literally just contoured my cheeks only with my Hoola bronzer and then put some Dane Blusher by MAC um, just over the cheek and just a tiny bit of mascara. Can't bother with brows or bronzer. I've got a little bit of excess lip balm on from this morning. You guys, like, I cannot fathom the shookness. Is that... It's not a real thing. And you know what I was thinking as well um, when I was just quickly putting uh, my blush on is that I have no excess makeup um, on the back of my hands. Like, I can't even tell you the amount of times that, like, I've, like, fully glammed myself and then gone out and I have stains um, of all these products on the back of my hand. First of all, because sometimes I forget to take a makeup wipe to take it off. And other times, like, it's just so hard to get off the back of your hand. So, I don't know about this foundation being a light coverage. Like, when I think of a light coverage, I think of a tinted moisturizer or, like, MAC Face and Body or, like, a really fluidy CC cream or something. Like, that's how I envision um, light coverage. I mean, maybe if you use this product, Product very very sparingly you could get a light coverage but I would say it's like a light to medium to full like it is very very buildable as you guys can see it covers blemishes it covers acne scarring it is so lightweight on the skin like it literally feels like I have nothing oh literally feels like I have nothing no product on my fingers, which is awesome. Look, as I said, I'm going to do a wear test. I mean, it's one thing for me to look great now um, as I've just finished my makeup, but I will be wearing this right throughout the day. I'm going to go on with my day as normal. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm a makeup artist, but I'm a makeup lover. Like, this is just so exciting. And I just feel like my skin hasn't looked this good in a really, really long time. Like, everything that I like to be covered is covered, but my skin still looks like skin. You know what I mean? I'm just... Oh, I'm so obsessed. Anyways, you guys, that is all I have to say for now. Well, I lie. I could go on forever, but I'm going to stop. Um, I'm going to get on with my day, and then I will check in with you guys uh, throughout the day to let you know how the makeup is sitting. And yeah, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hey, guys. So I am back here for, like, my little update. So the time is 3.23, and yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update on um, how the base is sitting and everything. So I had a really good look and really analysed my face um, literally just before um, I turned my camera on. And I am still extraordinarily impressed, um, without a doubt. I am the tiniest little bit oily um, through my T-zone, so like chin, um, a little bit here, and just a touch um, on my forehead. But I actually quite like it. I think it just kind of looks like nice and dewy and natural and almost quite like youthful. Like it just makes the skin look really nice and healthy. So I'm not even going to touch up. I will probably touch up later. 
Um, I do have oily skin. I normally touch up anyway, if I can even be bothered, because I'm so lazy. <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. It's still sitting really beautifully on the skin. I've done a bunch of errands today, um, and like running around and chores and stuff, and I even got caught um, in the rain. It wasn't super heavy rain, but it was still rain nonetheless. I just feel so pretty. I feel like my skin looks so good, and yeah, I'm super happy. So I'll check back in with you guys, maybe around dinner time. I'll see you guys at my next update. Okay guys, so I'm back again. It is 6.06. .06. I literally have four minutes um, to leave the door because I'm about to go to yoga. But I just wanted to do a quick update and how the foundation is sitting. So it is still sitting amazingly. I haven't gone patchy anywhere. In my last, um, uh, like my last kind of update portion of the video, I was saying that it started to get a tiny little bit oily through my T-zone. Um, but it just kind of made the makeup look really fresh and healthy. And I've had this makeup on since this morning um, and I still haven't touched up. So I've got my little makeup bag here. I'm just going to touch up now just for the sake of seeing how this makeup looks touched up. I just want to do it. So I'm just going to lay this just through the T-zone, just where I need it. So I did touch up with my Astralis Fresh and Flawless Powder. And I'm just looking in a little mirror now. That's sitting really, really beautifully. You know, sometimes when you touch up with a powder, uh, when your skin gets a little bit oily and it just sticks to it and goes a little bit patchy and kind of cakey looking. Uh, that's definitely not the case at all. I just cannot believe how incredibly beautiful the foundation still looks. Like I just feel so healthy and pretty and flawless. So yeah, that is my quick update for you guys. I'm gonna check in tonight just before I go to bed. Um, but yeah, anyways, I need to get off to yoga. If you're wondering, girl, is that your dressing gown? Yes, we do our yoga in our PJs. Like I literally, oh, like have my socks um, and my trackies and my uggies on. So anyways, I really need to run out the door right now. Uh, but yeah, definitely stay tuned until the end of this video when I will do my final check-in with you guys. As I said, it'll be just before I wash my makeup off before I go to bed. So I'm going to go to yoga and I will see you guys soon. Hi, you guys. So I'm back from yoga. I've had dinner. It's so late. Okay, like maybe I can stop being dramatic. It's like... Okay, it's like 9pm, but it's super late for me. I'm absolutely knackered. So as you guys saw on my last update, um, just before I was going to yoga, my skin was looking a tiny bit oily, which is quite normal for me. So you guys saw me touch up with a little bit of powder. So you can see just kind of a little bit in the T-zone. I'm a tiny bit shiny. It was actually quite hot um, in yoga, and I obviously wore my PJs. Um, but I can report that my skin still looks incredible. And I actually got a couple of compliments tonight at yoga saying, oh my god, your skin looks incredible. And you can imagine me, I'm like, Ugh! like it was just such an incredible feeling. Don't mind me, I'm having my new favorite paleo dessert. So nothing to do with this video, but if you guys are wondering what this is, it's like a mug cake, like completely paleo. And yeah, so good. I've had this base on for over 10 hours now and it has not gone patchy anywhere. It hasn't lifted off the skin. And I'm not going to lie, when I got home, I was so hungry and absolutely demolished my dinner. And I got it all over uh, my mouth and I just kind of patted it away um, with the palm of my hand and it literally didn't even take any foundation off. So, so good. So I truly do not have enough incredible things to say about this. I just cannot believe how good this foundation is. I am absolutely in love. I could not recommend it more to you guys. I'm going to recommend it to all my friends, but I cannot believe this makeup has been on for over 10 hours and I still look and genuinely feel flawless. So Astralis, I am so impressed. I absolutely love you guys. I'm going to tell all my friends about this. I really hope you guys love it. If you guys are in search of a new foundation, you need this. And I think as I was saying at the start of the video, uh, when I was actually applying it, if you're someone that has to wear makeup every day for work, or you might just be someone that loves to wear makeup every day, or you could be a mum and you might not have that much time to get ready in the morning, this product is your lifesaver. You know that you can do it in next to no time, but you're still going to look flawless. You won't have to worry about if you look cakey or patchy. It's just so quick and so easy, but most of all, absolutely gorgeous. I don't possibly think I have any more words to rave how good it is. I'm going to go finish my delicious dessert 
and pop a movie on in bed. I am absolutely knackered. And I can actually say that I am kind of sad that I've got to wash this makeup off. I really hope you enjoy my very first uh, first impressions video. If there's any foundations or any products for that matter that you guys would like to see me do like a full test run and first impressions on, just leave me a comment in the comments down below or you can DM me on Instagram. I'll have my link somewhere here on the screen. Whatever you guys are up to, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and having a great day or night. I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already done so I'd love if you hit the subscribe button you can click my face somewhere here on the screen um, and until my next video guys I'll see all of you soon take care bye